Continuing along with my trend of hacking new features into Premiere Pro because Adobe continues to ignore even the most basic of feature requests, today we have a potentially groundbreaking new feature that I have just straight up invented. This feature is the ability to make clips and entire selections of clips into a preset that can then be saved and recalled at any time using a keyboard shortcut. This will be particularly useful for adding commonly used sound effects into your videos. For example, I use whooshes a lot during transitions, and I also use this pop sound effect a lot whenever an object comes on screen. Normally, if I want to insert a pop noise, I have to mouse over to my bins, navigate through them to the sound effects bin, find the pop noise, and then click and drag it onto the timeline. From there, I have to change the audio levels and the in-out points so that it works as needed. But with this new feature of mine, all you need to do is type in a single keyboard shortcut and then poof, the audio clips appear on the timeline. No fuss, no searching, and no nonsense. So how did I do it? Well, I used AutoHotKey, a program called InsideClipboard.exe, and the Windows command line. So here's how it works. First, go into Premiere and select the clip or clips you want to use. In this case, I've selected this video title card that we use all the time. So select those clips and copy them. Now you have those clips loaded into your Windows clipboard. By the way, if you're on a Mac, I can't help you. You'll have to figure this out by yourself. OK, now you need to download InsideClipboard.exe. Put the exe straight into your file system root, right into C drive. This will simplify some things later. Open up InsideClipboard.exe and press the Refresh button to ensure that the clipboard item is current. There should be two items here, pppro slash mz slash cookie and pppro-ae slash exchange slash track item. I'll refer to them as cookie and track item from now on. The cookie always seems to be pretty small and is usually the same text, so I'm just ignoring that one for now. It seems to be mostly useless. I think it refers to something. Track item is more interesting. You can see that it's just bare XML code and that there's a ton of information here. The more clips you select and copy from the timeline, the larger track item becomes. Bingo! This is the data we're looking for. With that file still loaded in Inside Clipboard, go to File, Save to .clp file. Give your .clp file a descriptive name, but don't use any spaces. Save the file in the same place, onto the root of your C drive. For me, I actually couldn't save directly to C drive because of admin privileges or something, so I had to save it elsewhere and then cut and paste it into C drive. Now you can select something else in Premiere and repeat the process. Copy the clips you want, refresh inside clipboard, save the .clp file, and repeat. When you have all the clipboard files you want, you can try loading them back into Inside Clipboard and then pasting into Premiere, but it won't work. It will only ever paste the last thing you copied from Premiere. It won't load any new data. Closing and reopening Premiere won't fix this. What you have to do is restart your entire computer. Yeah, it's pretty weird, but that's just what you have to do. So now that you've restarted your computer, open a new Premiere project and create a new empty sequence. Open up Inside Clipboard.exe and load one of the clips you've saved. Now go into Premiere and hit Paste. Your clip should paste itself onto the timeline. Any and all media should automatically import itself into Premiere, and all effects you've applied to your clips should also be there. The label colors of your clips will not show up, probably, but that's a Premiere bug, one of many. Load up another clip into Inside Clipboard and try pasting into Premiere again. It should work perfectly. If not, you done goofed. Go back and work the problem. I won't be able to help you. You'll have to figure it out yourself. Anyway, assuming all is working properly at this point, you've still got a ways to go. Press the Windows key and type in CMD. The command prompt listing should come up. Make sure you run it as administrator, which you can do by right-clicking on it and selecting Run as Administrator. Now you should have this black window. That's the command line. Type in CD space C colon slash and press Enter. This gets you into the root of your file system, where you've already placed inside clipboard.exe and all of the little .clp files. You can move this all later, but we're just putting it in here now because we're diagnosing things and we're trying to get it all to work. On the inside clipboard website, you can see that there are command line commands that can be run to control inside clipboard. That's great. You'll be using slash load clp. Highlight some random text and copy it. This will ensure your clipboard is empty of Premiere data. Then go back to the command line and type in inside clipboard.exe space slash load clp space and then inside quotes put the name of the .clp file, including extension, that you wish to load. Press enter. The command should execute in the background. Go back into Premiere and hit paste. 
your loaded clip should be pasted into Premiere. If not, go back and figure out what went wrong. Keep in mind that commands like this might be case sensitive. Assuming all is working properly at this point, you've still got one more thing to do. Download AutoHotkey if you don't already have it. Find your AutoHotkey.ahk document and open it in a text editor like Notepad. That file should be located in your Documents folder. Don't move it from there and don't change the name. If you've never used AutoHotkey before, you might want to familiarize yourself with how to use it by looking through the website and the documentation. The syntax is pretty weird, like a semicolon begins a comment, for example, so any text after a semicolon in, on any given line is just ignored. Whatever. Scroll to the bottom of this file and paste this text into it. You can copy this text from the video's description. We're going to use the F12 key on your keyboard and map that to the command line script you just tested, which will load your saved .clp file into the clipboard so that you can paste it into Premiere. If you don't want to use F12, choose another key or sequence of keys. Just make sure that Premiere doesn't have anything mapped to F12 or whatever you use in its own internal keyboard shortcuts menu. So here's how the script works. Go into Premiere and press F12. You should get an annoying message box that pops up in your face telling you you pressed F12. That's there for diagnostic purposes. If you don't see this dialog box, you done messed up. Click OK. Now the script will invisibly run the command line, and in that command line, it will type in inside clipboard.exe slash loadclp, whoosh.clp, or whatever the name of that file is. Then the program waits for 50 milliseconds to ensure that inside clipboard has had enough time to do this, although I don't actually know if this needs to be more or less than 50 milliseconds. Then it sends control V, which of course is the shortcut for paste. And just like that, with a single keyboard shortcut, you should have all of those clips pasted into Premiere. Voila. Uh, once you've got that working, you can comment out or just delete the little piece of code that has the message box on it. Just get rid of that. You don't need it anymore. That was just there to make sure that the code actually worked. And then of course you can move everything out of C drive root and put it somewhere else where it will not be so cluttered and you'll have to reprogram the code appropriately. And now you can add as many of these as you want, giving each one a different keyboard shortcut. And if you don't want to use the function keys for this, that's fine. I have all of mine set to Control shift alt tilde Control shift alt 2 3 4 and so on, because I programmed a little tech keys keyboard to automatically type in those long, complicated shortcuts so that I can still just hit one key to apply these effects. And that also makes it easier to remember. But whatever you do, you know, just choose a keyboard shortcut and go with it. And that's all. Now you too can save and recall clips at any time, anywhere, in Premiere. Enjoy. And I would appreciate it if you would send the Adobe Premiere devs a feature request requesting this feature to be officially added to Premiere. But don't hold your breath.